The Vapor Glove 5s are here. This shoe was released a month or so after the Trail Glove 6 was released, and I was very lucky to have found my size since these shoes are currently hard to obtain at the moment. Now, I've worn these shoes day in, day out for over six weeks now, and I think it's about time that I go over and share my thoughts towards them. So, maintain your focus because we are about to begin. Hey, what's going on? I hope you're doing great. My name is Gabe, and this channel is all about optimizing human performance and potential. And what are those variables towards performing optimally and actualizing our potential, whether it be in the fitness center, or the gym, or out running, is to wear proper footwear. Footwear that allows our toes to spread, to feel contact with the ground, and to properly stretch and contract our numerous foot muscles. These types of shoes are barefoot minimalist shoes and may offer us the ability to achieve such outcome. Now I won't go into the details as to how or why in this video, nor will I claim to be a foot or shoe expert, but I will go over what this shoe has to offer and my thoughts and experiences towards them. So I hope you find this video well and perhaps helping you make that decision as to whether or not this shoe is right for you. So with that being said, let's begin. All right, so these are the fifth version of Merrill's popular minimalist shoe line. The Vapor Glove 5 was designed to mimic the shape and natural position of the human foot, meaning how you would be or perform without shoes while barely offering you any support. Merrill has stated that this model has improved its fit structure and outer mesh's abrasion resistance. The laces, rubber sole, and foam insole are all from recycled materials, and this top collar is elastic designed to fit your feet naturally and allow you to put on your shoe with ease. A new feature introduced to this shoe line. Additionally, this shoe includes the latest barefoot two construction, which means it allows for that natural foot position I mentioned. This shoe size is a 10 and a half and fits quite accurately to all of the previous Vapor Glove models. The same can be said about the woman's version, which right here is a size six. Lastly, these shoes are both fairly light and are even slightly lighter than the Vapor Glove 4s. All right, so onto the review itself. Let's start with the appearance of these shoes. It is dope. I really like how they redesigned the look of these Vapor Gloves. They look great on fitness or casual wear. While assuming you get the right size, the only con I have for this new design is the excessive fabric up on top. I have found that they tend to bunch up more on the black color than on the green color for some reason, and when it does, it can look quite strange. However, it's only an issue when you desire the shoe to fit more snug and pull the laces tighter. Lastly, I understand a lot of Merrill fans love the radiant or vibrant colors. I do too, but I also appreciate Merrill for offering these earth tone based colors. They match more of what I wear and I don't stand out as much. Perhaps later on, they'll bring more color options. And if they do, I'd like to see a dark teal or perhaps a neon green option. Oh, and I almost forgot, the signature rubber bumper that covers the toes are finally gone. And I'm totally cool with that. This new design still offers some TPU plastic-like protection for your toes, but it's mixed within the fabric of the shoe. As for fit, they're pretty accurate to the previous models. Meaning if you wore the Vapor Gloves 2s or 4s, you may want to order the same size for this shoe. The rubber soles are new and different from the previous models, but it's still quite comfortable in my opinion. It seems more suited towards road or pavement surface than dirt trails. Now I understand that some people want paper thin soles for that real barefoot feeling, but I personally appreciate the two millimeter lug uh, that's on these shoes while offering some foam padding. It has just the right amount of bare feel and separation to the ground if you ask me. For some contrast amongst the Vapor Glove line, I find that the Vapor Glove 2s feel less sturdier and the Vapor Glove 5s in terms of feel and the connection are slightly more sturdier. The elastic-like tongue is new to the Vapor Glove line and I think it works well. It definitely is easier to put on the shoes compared to how the new Trail Glove 6s are. However, I would have liked that the elastic tongue to fit more snug and perhaps expand or flex from there to the user's foot shape because in some ways it looks and feels a bit too loose. And the last thing here is the lacing system. It's a little new to me and while I have come to understand the design's aim, 
I'm not sure I'm fully bought in. Tying my shoes is a strange sight. Basically, it takes some getting used to to find what amount of pressure or looseness you need for a particular activity. And it also depends on which shoe you have because I've noticed a little bit of differences in terms of fit with the olive green color option versus the black color option. So as I mentioned before, if you tie it too tight, the shoe looks a little weird. And if it's too loose, it starts to flop around. All right, so this last category is where it weighs in most on whether or not I recommend this shoe. I'm personally not ready to go running on these yet, but I have used them consistently for the gym, conditioning and mobility drills, and outdoor walking. By the way, if you're looking to develop your mental and physical fitness, I highly recommend daily deliberate walking, preferably with some barefoot or minimalist shoes. I know some very basic level stuff, but there's a lot of research on walking outdoors and its benefits towards our mental and physical health. So if this is a video of something you want to learn more about, consider subscribing so you don't miss out on that video when it does come out. All right, so back to the review. When it comes to performance, the overall fit within these shoes, especially the black ones, for some reason, it just does not breed confidence. Meaning that when I perform lateral movements or suddenly change directions, my feet don't feel secure in them. The olive color is much better within this regard. But for the black ones, it almost feels like too much movement is going on or like my heel may slip off. Not something I've experienced in the previous Vapor Glove models nor in the new Trail Glove 6 shoe. As I mentioned earlier, the elastic sock-like tongue isn't as snug as I'd like it to be. The green ones do fit better for some reason than the black ones as I already mentioned earlier. In fact, it felt so off that I had to get a new pair to see if there might have been some defect and there was in fact a defect. The shoe at the time was just too loose. Now the second pair did fit better, but it's still not as good as the olive green color. To emulate that fit and feel to have some sense of confidence as the green one, I'd have to tie the shoe tighter and in doing so would throw off the overall aesthetic appearance of the shoe. Now out of curiosity, I did weigh them both to see if one had potentially more fabric than the other and the black ones did in fact have a little bit more weight to them. It was 0.5 to 1 gram heavier than the olive green ones. Interesting. Something to consider if you are purchasing the black shoe or perhaps have a lean or bony foot structure. The rubber sole is flexible and grips fairly well on various surfaces. The design or pattern of the sole itself is pretty consistent and hasn't shown any sign of wear just yet. Remember, it's been six weeks now and I don't run on these. The Vapor Glove 4s, on the other hand, wear out, I think in my opinion, from my experiences, a bit too fast. I'd say that the rubber sole on this new model is an improvement. For the upper mesh on the olive green model, I've noticed that the left side's protective material is already starting to peel. Sure, I could put on some glue to fix it, but it isn't something I look forward to either. I will say that the overall mesh-like material is way more durable and tougher than the Vapor Glove 2s or 4s. However, while it is much more abrasion resistant, the breathability of these shoes might have suffered some. It's not warm enough where I'm at yet to tell how well they perform, but I've worn them without socks to test them out and it felt slightly damped. Overall, I think the Vapor Glow 5s is an improvement for the Vapor Glove line. And it's fairly good looking if you ask me and it's doing well for my needs. As I previously mentioned, if the overall fit of this shoe were a bit more snug and secure for those lateral movements, or perhaps the color options to be sized and fitted correctly or consistently, then this would be the perfect minimalist barefoot shoe. And rating this shoe on a scale of 1 to 5, I'm going to give this one a 4.5. Will I be keeping them? Absolutely. These guys are my new favorite gym shoes. That's all for this video. Thanks so much for watching and supporting this channel. If you liked the video or found it helpful, do me a favor, hit the like button. And if you're new here or haven't done so already and you like this channel's direction, subscribe. I'll look forward to seeing you in the next one. Till then, be one with the iron.